Hello everybody, my name's Rebecca Melcher and I'm the Deputy Faculty Leader for English at Prince Henry's Grammar School. Um, I've been teaching Year 11 and Year 13 students for many years and have learnt quite a bit about what um, best suits various students in terms of revising, relearning, reviewing and being prepared. Um, and this is what revising looks like. Um, but my presentation is different from the others because the others all um, are about students sitting down at a desk, preferably with a laptop, with a pen, with paper, um, the traditional conventional way of revising. And I have to say, probably for most people, most of the time, the most effective. This is what revising looks like. However, what I'm here to tell you very briefly is what, was, what revising can look like. So, um, this is not students revising, this is students relaxing. And of course, students relaxing is incredibly important as they head towards their GCSEs. It's very important that they do this kind of thing when um, they are not revising. Chatting with friends, um, just listening to music, switching off, going for a walk, getting fresh air, getting exercise just lying down and just chilling out. However, this is what revising can also look like if necessary. Um, if your child does not want to be sat at the desk any longer in a quiet room, but feels like they need to do some more revision or they want an opportunity to top up the learning that they've done by sitting at the desk or by doing some, uh, some work at home, um, in a different room, but they want to transfer, they want to go out, they want to um, do something, but they just want to make sure that the work that they've been doing that morning or whatever has gone in. Or, you've got a different situation, you might have a child who has to travel a long way every single day and is anxious about the fact that that is wasted revision time or time that they could be revising. So, they're on a bus, they've got headphones in and they're revising. So. This is what my presentation is about. It's about using the internet. It's about listening to things. It's about downloading stuff while you're on the move. It's about um, going to websites which your students would, which students would have heard of, Seneca, Everlearner, um, uh, another app which um, you can get on your phone where you can get a whole array of different, um, different applications. Uh, Mr. Bruff podcast. There are so many ways in which students today can learn and revise without sitting at a desk. Now, I know that in itself isn't telling you anything perhaps that you don't already know, um, but it might be interesting for you to know that if your child's got their headphones on and you're getting a bit exasperated, they could well be listening to a GCSE science podcast. Um, so it's worth remembering that if it sometimes looks as if they're not revising, this might just suit them at this moment to be doing revision like this. Their phones are an absolute invaluable resource, clearly. Um, they have everything on their phone, everything at their fingertips, and they have their phones on, usually, and with them all the time. And yes, they are glued to their phones, but the phone can be a real tool in helping to be um, prepared for exams, assessments, tests, whatever. So. We use our phone to record if we're revising, we use our phone to listen, and we use our phone to share. And all of those things can be revision tools, unconventional, but revision tools. So for a very quick example, um, if, you're, if your child is musical, they love music, um, they like creating music, there's apps such as GarageBand and there's others now which they can easily download on their phone. Um, and I'm not suggesting that listening to music in itself is a way to revise, but they can record a song with the elements of the periodic table on it or um, keywords that they have to know for a particular history topic. Um, and they can put it to music. And believe me, we all know we can all... Um, we can all recall lyrics of songs that we haven't heard for years just instantaneously because putting words to music and giving a beat to them um, can really help aid memory. So that's one idea of how your child can be revising by creating it in the first place and then listening um, to something that they might have studied in the conventional way at a desk earlier in the day or the previous day. Another way is sharing. 
So obviously they all have their phones and obviously they do lots of things with them on social media. But some of them I know already um, use Snapchat to send out reminders of what's in the assessment, key words for French, um, a, a, a list of um, plant, the biology of a, of a cell, list of, of things like that. So Snapchatting, sharing um, stuff on social media that they've created, taking a photo of it and sending it means that they've created something, then they're receiving something from their friends, which might really ha be a really good way for them to remember something that they may well otherwise forget. So this idea of collaboration by using their phones and social media to collaborate and sending things that they've done for themselves over um, over social media or just sharing it out, just you know, playing the song that they've recorded to their friends or there are just so many ways. Um, so just to run, run it down really, I mean this is a day in the revising life of a year 11 student and it kind of just picks out different things that they can be doing using their phones or learning by listening or by creating and then listening back. So there's a long list there and obviously no year 11 student is ever going to do this day. I would never expect them to, but it kind of just gives lots of different ideas of how you can, how they can interject within their day little moments where they are consolidating their revision that they've done or creating a new revision resource or just hearing something that they've just recorded just to, um, to kind of confirm what they already know. So I'm not going to go through all of it, but you can kind of see that walking the dog can involve um, revising about plant cells. Walking the dog, telling them, talking to the dog as they go along with their phone, because they all like to pretend, you know, we're on a fake call because, you know, we don't want to be seen to be walking without being on the phone. So with their headphones in, probably. And instead of actually having a conversation, they're actually revising something as they're walking, but record it. Tell them to record it, then they can listen back to it later. Um, audiobooks are fantastic um, for downloading, and you can get many of them free now. You can get Shakespeare um, podcasts for free, where just the play is uh, easily, they just type it into Google, Google um, Macbeth's audio, or Romeo and Juliet audio, um, and they can download it to their phone for free, and they can listen to it while they're on the bus, or while they're getting ready for school, or while they're waiting for the bus, or walking to the bus stop, or whatever. Um, so there's lots and lots of ideas here, in including YouTube videos, which are actually really good. Um, but sometimes it's quite good to sit and be taking notes while you watch a YouTube video, but sometimes it's quite good just to be watching it while you're doing something else and it's going in. It might not be in the same way, but it is going in or it's reinforcing something that they've already learnt. Um, and then there's things like making a song, as I've already mentioned, um, giving out revision cards. So this is like combining more conventional ways of revising. So flashcards they've created earlier in the day, perhaps, you know, you could say, why don't you give me a flashcard? I'll read them out and you record me and they can listen to it later. Um, so there's lots of ideas here um, across many, many subjects, basically using their phone. Thank you.